All right, uh, let's look at the second uh, quadrilateral I have right here. In the first one, as a recap, we did the additive property where we found the area of the rectangle and the area of the two triangles, and then we added them all up together. Down here, I'm going to do the opposite. And again, like I said in class, I don't know if subtractative is a word, but it's the same idea. It's the same idea as the additive, but instead of adding pieces together, I'm just taking pieces away. So down this down this one down here, I can see I can actually make a great. I can actually make this one into a rectangle. So I can add some imaginary lines there. And I can easily find the area of this big entire rectangle. Well, well, what's the area? If I think about it, area is, of course, length times width or base times height. Of this entire rectangle, I have an area, a length of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and a height of 1, 2. So over here, I'm going to say, okay, my area, my area of the entire thing, so my total area is going to equal um, length times width, which it was 8 times 2, so a total, this entire thing, is 16. And if you remember back to our arrays, that's pretty pretty straightforward. We can see I have two groups of 8. There's one group of 8, the second group of 8. Two groups of 8 is 16. Now, to find the area of my shape, all I need to do is I can take away the area of this triangle here, and I can take away the area of this triangle here. And if I take those two triangles away, what's left? Yep, you got it. The area of my shape. So this first here, um, the area of, I'm going to call this T1, triangle 1. The area of triangle 1, well, what does that equal? I know my, my area of a triangle is half the area of a rectangle. So with this rectangle here, I know it's half of it. This rectangle has a base of 2 and a height of 2. So as a total, I can find the half of an area of 4, which is, of course, 2. I can do the same thing with this rectangle or sorry, this triangle over here. I know a rectangle right there. I take half of that to find this triangle here. And I'm going to call this T2. So the area of triangle 2, of course, is half of a rectangle. So what that means is I'm going to find the half of my base times height. My base here, 1, 2, 3, 4, and the height, 1, 2. So a base of 4 and a height of 2. That means I'm going to need to find the half of an area of 8, which is 4. So I have the entire area here, which is 16. I can take away my small triangle 2. I can take away the big triangle 4. And what's left over is all the stuff right there. So if I calculate that, I have 16. I subtract 2, subtract 4. So that's a total subtraction of 6. And what's left over? Left over of 10. And there you have it. That's using the additive to add three together, and the same idea of the additive, but we're now just taking bits away to find the area of that piece. Catching the last one, we'll be going over both of them for this trapezoid here.